The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 563. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She's a singer, songwriter, and a social media influencer, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Jade Berry. Jade, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. I'm great. Thanks, Sheena. I'm so excited to be on your podcast and be able to participate in your project. So I am a singer. I work in my genre specifically as pop. I was trained classically in music. I studied classical music both in a high school at Conservatory, Orange County High School of the Arts, as well as studying my bachelor's in music at the University of Redlands. And I ventured into classical music for a while and then switched over to being in the contemporary music field. I also songwrite and sing on other artists' tracks, as well as compose hooks and songs for other artists. And then you said it yourself, I'm also an Instagram social media influencer. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Jade, what's your cultural background? My nationality is Chinese. I was actually born in Beijing, China. I was an orphan and I was brought over here when I was about one and a half um, to the United States. I'm actually a mixed race. I'm half Chinese, half Caucasian. And I have a interesting background. I was actually raised in Iowa in the Midwest, very conservative culture until I was about 10 years old when I moved here to Newport Beach, California in Orange County. And then I have been here ever since. Thanks for sharing that. And what'd be your favorite self-confidence quote? I actually have two that I would like to share. One is very famous, but something that I definitely find to be very true. It's Eleanor Roosevelt. And she says that no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. And then the second one is something that I definitely embrace in the way that I live my life. And it's beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Thanks for sharing those great quotes. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? My definition of self-confidence for me personally, for me, it's it's knowing myself and trusting my own ability and my own capabilities and having that self-confidence. It, it really just helps me to be able to know my own self-worth and have faith in myself to take the risks that I need to in order to achieve my goals. And also just be really like okay with myself if I make a mistake and learn from them and not be knocked down by it. Thanks for sharing that great definition. And Jade, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? I would say self-confidence is definitely like a linear journey. I wouldn't say that like I'm done discovering my own self-confidence or my own self-efficacy. But before I had started really developing it, I would say that before I was confident in my own beliefs and developed into who I am and knowing myself as a person, I wouldn't be as secure in making the choices to do what I believed was right. Because, you know, you you feel like you might be rejected or mocked or criticized. And definitely I had a rough upbringing being that I was an orphan and that I was in foster care. And so really standing on my own two feet and like kind of facing the world in that way And being secure in myself to be my own person was definitely, it took a lot of, it was a very long journey and it's one that's still continuing, I would say, for sure. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I think we all go through like not feeling secure, right? Not feeling we're not enough, especially if, you know, we have an upbringing where it feels like we always have to put other people first and we always have to be in the background. But what was that point in your life when you realized you were more than worthy to go out there and be the person that you are today and have that confidence, especially, you know, becoming a singer songwriter? Um, It's not something that most people go through, but, you know, it's something that you love and you went for. What was that aha moment? I would say it was a series of aha moments. Like I said, I I think that discovering yourself is an ongoing journey, right? We always change. and, And if you really are trying to be the best that you can be, you know, that's a process and a journey that I would hope would never stop. And I would say, so I would say, you know, like I said, it's an, it's a linear journey. It's continuing journey. And I, 
as I continue to grow as a person and develop um, in myself, in my own beliefs, in my perspective, my sense of self-efficacy is is it becomes stronger and that contributes to my growth and my development and my self-confidence. Definitely being in the entertainment industry is a challenge because I think a big part of, of maintaining your self-confidence is acting within your own values and, and being virtuous and acting with integrity. That can be challenging because there's a lot of double standards out there and definitely as a social media influencer, as a as somebody that needs to meet those industry standards in order to achieve a certain level of success. Sometimes I can struggle with those boundaries. And so it's an it's a continuing journey for sure. But I would say that one of the biggest hurdles that I've overcome is I'm actually a cancer survivor. I was in the hospital for Children's Hospital of Orange County for eight months when I was in 2015 to 2016. And during that period of time, it really was just a wake up call for me in terms of who I am and and really just sitting there and thinking about my life, the life that I've led, who I wanted to be, the goals that I wanted to achieve, what I wanted to be in life. And and really, when you're like that close to facing death, you face yourself for sure. And you definitely are just confronted with your own reality. And so if I was going to narrow it down, like I said, it's a linear journey. And for sure, it has been a up and down one for me. But I would say if I was going to narrow it down to a, a huge momentous moment in my life, that would be it. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, it's great that you're able to be a survivor now and be able to keep, you know, keep living the life that you want. And, you know, because of that wake up call, what was your what's your life been like now? You know, it's it's great. I still have challenges, of course, just like anybody else. But I practice self-love and self-compassion at the same time as being my own worst critic. I try to have a balance between it and challenge myself to be better every day, challenge myself in my relationships with other people and really strive to achieve my goals and not become complacent. And I would say that my life is always changing for the better. Thanks for sharing that. And Jade, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey to self-confidence. What'd be that one tip you would give to her? To the women that are out there, regardless of your cultural background, regardless of your history or where you are in your journey to self-confidence and achieving that, I would say remember to love yourself and just know like when in your heart of hearts that you definitely have the right to be happy. You have the right to pursue your goals and, and achieve your dreams. And even if you are facing setbacks, even if you felt knocked down, it doesn't matter if it's in your career, if you had a bad relationship, if you just got dumped, if you lost your job, if if you're having financial issues, know that like time heals all and it is a continuing journey. You know, your your life doesn't stop here and you are valuable as an individual. And, you know, practice self-compassion. Know that we're in perfect humans and we're living imperfect lives, but that doesn't make you any less than anybody else. And practice the same love for yourself that you would give to somebody else that you love, whether it be a partner, a significant other, your child, your sibling, your family, you know, remember to give yourself the same love that you give others. And don't self-sabotage. Just make sure that you practice that self-love. Find a way to do that for yourself and find out what that means for you. And know that, you know, you determine your self-worth. Nobody else can determine that for you. And and you are going to, when you determine that self-worth, you know, that's when you determine what you deserve. And, you know, with all of the idealisms, of course, we're always going to care to a degree about what the people around us think, what society thinks, you know, you, that's just part of life, right? And we all care to a different degree. Some people care a lot more, some people care a lot less. But at the end of the day, I believe that if you make the right choices and you act within your own values and you're virtuous and you act within with integrity and what you believe in your heart of hearts is is the correct way to be at the end of the day regardless of the mistakes or regardless of the consequences or how your life is turning out if you can live with yourself you're going to be okay with your decisions at the end of the day and just don't turn these these hurdles into something negative. Don't live with it as a regret and take the opportunity to learn from it and grow from it and do better next time. Thanks for sharing those tips. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do or check out your music, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? 
Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at Jade Berry Music, B E R R Y. You can follow me on Snapchat at Jade Daily, and you can check out my website, www.jadeberrymusic.com. And I'm always welcome to getting to know new people. So, you know, if there's somebody that had a specific question or somebody that wanted to connect, feel free to shoot me an email or a direct message, and I'm happy to respond. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Jade, you can also head on over to thetalofselfconfidence.com and search for Jade's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Jade today for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Jade. Thank you so much for having me. Not a problem. It was really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Get your free audiobook by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.